people have been doing something for a while, and all of a sudden, bam, you get three, four turnovers in a row or get teams out of sync, and, and you can be real disruptive, which they have at times. So I think Northwestern did a good job of taking what was there. You know, when it was there, they took it. When it wasn't, they uh, ran some offense. And, I mean, if they and, beat it, they would attack the Oh, run. yeah, yeah, they, and they got some threes, and they got some shots at the basket. and. So you got to make them pay for it if you can. But the, the question is being able to finish plays because a lot of times in pressure events you don't, and then you're you know, you're fueling exactly what they want to do. As good as Collins has been in the last night, wasn't maybe up to the standards, but even on quite a roll. Is he even better now than the Collins he has yeah. seen in the past? I've years? always liked him. I've always thought he was one of the better guards in the league. He does a lot of things for him. Uh, at both ends, great three-point shooter. I mean, he, can, he cannot give him any open shots. They run a lot of stuff for him to get three-point attempts. Uh, good defensive player, can put it on the floor, gets to the free throw line, rebounds. I mean, he's he's a really, really good guard. Has been for a while. So um, when, you, when you look at him, you see him and you see a, a Manta who's as quick as anybody will play all year. And then you got the big walker inside who's his you know, he's right there with anybody as a post-up offensive player. That's a heck of a place to start for a basketball team. He got a couple mid-range shots in the Western game. Is that something that he's been able to do, or is he he's just mostly walking the big Yeah, no. yeah, he's, he's, his range going out a little yeah, bit, okay. but on the blocks where he really does damage. He's he's gotten very comfortable doing it. He's in shape. He wants the ball. He's yeah. he's playing very well. He's, um, he's like I said, probably one of the better post-up True post up options in the league. What does Mason give him this year? That guy? Quickness, uh, probably a better shooter, three point shooter than Matt Thau, so he gives him some outside shooting. Um, there are a lot of good freshmen in the league, and he's one of them. And he has really played well, and I think he's kind of a little bit in the background because of you know the outstanding freshman guy in the league. But he's, and he, he probably was their best player last night, so he's playing. Shooting a three, penetrate, he's quick, makes a lot of things happen. Very good defensive guard for a young kid with steals and deflections and things like that. Gary, all your points last night came from the starters. I know, you know, you get limited minutes when you come off the bench anyway, but what is your level of concern as you get closer to the postseason about getting more contributions? Yeah, I think we just go game by game. Uh, you know, if you're, you're practicing every day, you're seeing those guys contribute. So the next step, obviously, is contribute when we're playing. and. You know, Duye's been around a little bit and looking forward to him to break out. And, and Shoei and, and Vito at times have given us good minutes. So I think you just you go game by game. You do what you got to do to win that game, and then you move on. So obviously you'd like to like to see them produce more. Um, and hopefully they will because they have, and, and in practice they're doing it. So I think it's just a matter of time. When Trey comes back, it will obviously add some depth in that area, but um, and maybe Browns will be in the sixth man, but what are your expectations of Trey when he does come back and trying to work him back into the fold here? Well, it gives you an experienced guard that's been, you know, it's been down the pike a number of times and has experienced a lot of things and won a lot of games, so great defensive player, so I, it's it's an addition for without any question, so, you know, the, the big question is when and then what kind of, you know, condition and ability he's going to be when he comes back, but if we can get him close to 100%, that'll be a great addition because the kid's a winner. Have you, have you ever dealt with a kid who's had a similar injury like this and missed a amount of time to, to have an idea what he's like when he comes back from this much extended time? Yeah, off? I don't know quite like that, but um, I think like anything, you're just going to have to go day by day and yeah. just see how he progresses. The feet are, you know, feet are funny. You got to, you got to make sure they're. Uh, they're healed and, and conditioning in some cases too. and conditioning, but he's you know he's getting conditioning now. Now it's not basketball conditioning, but uh, I don't. Th I think that'll come back pretty quickly. I think okay. it, you know getting the rust off and just getting in game game situations will be the be the big step.